Hi everyone. So we're working on an 11 by 14 canvas and we're going to do a flip and drag. I'm going to be using some metallics and some different color combos here. So I already sprayed my cup with a WD-40 uh, silicone spray and rubbed it in so that my paint will go to the bottom when I flip the cup. So I'm going to be using uh, this is Artist Loft Iridescent Medium mixed with Grumbacher's Prussian Blue. It makes the most beautiful color um, when it dries, and I do mix that equal parts. So we're going to put that color in first, so it'll be on top. And then we're going to go with the Folk Art Peridot. It's a very pretty um, color. I'm having terrible luck with paints lately, aren't I? Okay, just a little bit. So we don't we don't need a lot of paint for this canvas, so um, I'm going sparingly. And then the gold bronze, just a little bit of that. And then the folk art yellow flash, and this was the Lucas gold bronze. It's gorgeous. You guys should get some um, folk art yellow flash. Is uh, color shift paint. And then on top of that, because I have blue in there, I'm going to put a little bit more blue on top because we're going to get another green from that probably. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pop it in the middle. And you'll start to see the paint come away from that cup. And that's what the WD-40 does. Um, it kind of coats the cup so the paint doesn't stick. And that way you're getting everything coming to the canvas and not sticking in your cup. That way, and you don't lose a color. Because like usually your first color in would still be in the cup. So this way you're kind of getting it all. So when I do this, I end up with a little bit of suction. I like to poke a hole in the cup. Sometimes I do two, sometimes I do three. It all depends. And I don't see any color coming out, so there is no suction going on at all. And I'm just going to go ahead and move this paint around the canvas. And I'll probably have to pick up some. I'm going to show you this up close because it's absolutely gorgeous on that black. And it did make a green, so yeah. It's not the peridot. So just give it a minute to settle down and I'm going to give it a torch and we're going to move it around a little bit because I do have some spots that are a little shallow that I need to fill in. I'll give you that close up of that blue. It's just so pretty. All right, so now I see the peridot. So I'm going to bring this down because I want to bring this down here and it's okay if you go over because you're going to come back so don't freak out flip and drags are fun alright so I filled that spot that I was worried about and it's just so sparkly <laughs> so sparkly alright so let's stretch it out a little bit Don't worry, it's going to come back. I like to like move it down and hope that some of it sticks there and then come the other way. And then the same idea is to get it to stick just a little bit. And then we bring it back to the middle. So we didn't get much stick on this way, but it still looks pretty cool. All right.
We're going to play with the airbrush yet, so we are not done yet. I must have gotten some of that yellow flash into this black with this blue. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. See it? It's already doing its flash thing. So that's kind of cool. All right, let me airbrush. I'm just going to get picky and choosy and pick the spots that I want to push out and things that I don't want to, but I'll leave. I like how that's just sitting there. I might just leave that alone. I do want to um, move this here though. It's being a little stubborn, but we'll get it. to open that up because I wanted to see what was under there. <laughs> I can never leave things alone. Okay. Looks like a little rainbow there. It's pretty. I don't know if I want to touch that. Should like it not the way you're looking at it, but this way. I like that bold yellow there. It's gonna be so pretty when it's dry because oh my goodness, the sparkle. I wish you guys could see the sparkle. So pretty. All right, let me torch that real quick and see if we get any more cells. Now a lot of this color that I push out will sink into that black, but hopefully the mica will stay. So you won't see the color, but you'll see the uh, the iridescent or the metallic part of it on top of that black paint. So I'm really loving this one. This part, part right here. It's like so many different colors. It's really neat. So guys, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, click on the bell and make sure you're on all so you're getting notifications. Um, we have a lot of people that say, I didn't get the notification or thank goodness I know what time you're on. <laughs> Most of my videos are loaded at two o'clock every day or every, um, I try to do them Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, but sometimes it's Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, but it all depends on what I have um, saved back to upload. So remember that they're always at two o'clock. Weekends, I try to do them at noon, but if you're looking for a video of mine, you can always check my page um, in your subscription file. Um, yeah, so Monday nights, we're live at 9 p.m. We have a great time there. Um, hang out with us. There's a lot of uh, questions that get asked and we try to answer as best as we can. Um, I can explain processes to you and once in a while we come up with some new technique and we throw it out there and play. Um, Alan's been getting all kinds of little gadgets from um, Brian from Spontaneous Creations by Brian. So he's got a lot of little gadgets to play with. Um, also, the group the Parage Posse with Christina Welch. 
on Facebook, uh, we have just this whole file section of where you can find different artists, techniques, paint mixing, um, anything you want to know, how to varnish a painting, how to clean a painting. All the files are there that bring you to right directly to my videos so you don't have to search for them. Um, and I also have a Facebook page, Christina Welch Art, um, where I post my videos and announcements only. Um, I don't get chatty on that one at all. <laughs> um, I do post a few things to Instagram, so if you want to follow me, um, my Instagram is at Christina Welch or C Welch Art. And um, I do post a little mini videos once in a while on there. But I'm not real active on there, so if, if that's the only way you want to keep in touch with me, um, you won't see much. Because uh, I put all my effort into YouTube and my group. Um, products on Amazon, the WD-40, the pouring trays. Um, we have bottles and paint mixing um, canisters and stir sticks and uh, the pads and gloves. We have it all in our Amazon shop, even resin. Uh, Stone Coat has now uh, moved their resin to Amazon so that um, us influencers, we were affiliates with them before, but we, we can uh, put it in our Amazon store now and you don't have to go to their website to order it. And um, check out the links below. There's so many places to uh, check out. I'm not going to go through them all, but uh, at this time, um, all of us YouTube artists need as many views as we can get. This is our job, and um, with everything that's going on, it's just it's just amazes me um, how supportive our community is. So um, don't just check out my videos. Check out everybody else. Um, Type in acrylic pouring in the search bar and watch as many videos as you can. Um, we have so many um, YouTube artists that have jobs outside of the house that they're not able to go to right now. And this is their only source of income. So um, do, do your part. Do what you can. And um, stay healthy. So with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye now.